Alright guys, so this is the Rio Link Argus 2 and it comes with a solar panel to charge the CCTV camera here and the good thing I like about this is that it's completely wireless so it gets the battery charged from the actual solar panel itself. So let me go ahead and give you an unboxing. So this is pretty well packaged, you've got two different user guides here, one for the solar panel and one for the actual camera itself, the Argus 2, so I'll put that down to the side. Now just to give you a quick unboxing of how everything looks. This is the uh, rear link camera. As you can see, it's quite compact and it's got some screws at the bottom where you can mount this onto a wall, uh, onto various brackets, and you've got the space for the battery pack there. So I'll put that down. You have the uh, actual battery pack. And then you also have a silicon case to actually protect it from uh, various different weather conditions. Inside the case, you have a couple of things. So the first thing is a strap that you can actually mount this camera on to something like a drain pipe where you are not able to basically drill a hole uh, for the actual mounts. Then you've got the uh, USB charging cable for this and it is a, a USB type B. So it is a micro USB, it's not USB-C. You also have a little uh, strap here if you uh, wanted to uh, mount that or hang that off of something. And then you've got the various screws as well. So this is the actual screw mount. If you wanted to drill this into somewhere, uh, then you can do that and place it on there. Looking else inside the box, the last thing you have is actually the uh, solar panel. So if I just quickly take this out, you can see this is what it looks like. It comes with the connector there. And you also have a screw if you wanted to mount that on anything right at the back. So I'll put that down as well. And then you also have the uh, solar panel mount as well. So you've got screws at the bottom as well if you wanted to screw that into something. So Okay, so I'm just going to connect the uh, battery power pack to this. So you just literally slot it in and it should give you confirmation. Camera has been started up. Please run Real Link app, add the camera and set it up. So I need to download the app and set it up on my phone to connect the camera to my Wi-Fi. This uh, stand is magnetic, so this comes off. And if you wanted to mount this, then you simply just place this and you can move it around as much as you like. So it's pretty heavy duty magnet and it is quite hard to take off. It's up to you if you want to use this or you want to actually have the uh, screw mount in place and screw this right into the bottom of the camera. So it's up to you. Okay, so this is what comes with the user guides for both the solar panel and the CCD camera. You both have the specification and you also have a sticker to actually display on your house to let people know that you have 24 hour surveillance. So if you wanted to get the uh, sample sizing of where to drill the holes for your brackets then it gives you this as well so you can use this as a measurement to actually drill the holes before you actually put the mount onto the wall. So that's pretty straightforward and then you also have a quick start guide on both of them just to give you an idea of how to get up and running and connected to your internet. So what I'm planning to do is actually use the strap mount to put it right there behind the drain pipe on there just to get a view of my house and my entire garden and I possibly connect the solar panel there on the left hand side to the wooden fence so that I get some really good amount of sunlight throughout the day which will give me a whole day's worth of charge for the camera. Now Reolink mentioned that you need about three hours of daylight to get a full day's worth of battery into the actual CCTV camera so I'm going to go ahead and set that up and show you guys how it looks. Okay you can see how I've connected this so I've used the strap around the uh, drain pipe I've just set up the uh, solar panel there, just screwed it into the fence. So this has been connected now to the app through my Wi-Fi settings. One thing to remember, so I have the silicon case on this, but before you put that on, there's a barcode at the back of the device and there's a barcode at the back of any real link devices. You have to scan the barcode through the app to connect it to your Wi-Fi. So do that before you stick this up, otherwise uh, it'll be a hassle to take it off and back on again. So that's in place, I've got all of this connected and now I've connected it to the app and I'll give you a showcase of how that looks now. Alright guys, so now just to finish off, give you a run through of the app as well. So as you can see here, I'm uh, recording currently through the uh, app and if you don't have the SD card in it, you won't be able to play back. So do try to put a micro SD card into your device so you can play back at any time in the past. So just a quick run through, as you can see there's a play and pause button there on the bottom left. You also have the uh, screen capture button if you want to take a photo of that instance. 
The third button is the video recording. If you want to start recording a video and play it back, maybe you want to share it to your cloud account, Dropbox, Google Photos, whatever you like. The fourth button, if you select that, that allows you to change from fluent or to 1080p. So the max resolution is 1080 on this. If you wanted to have it fluent, that is dependent on your Wi-Fi settings and how strong of a connection it gets. So it can actually switch between 720 or 1080 and it keep it streaming all the way through. So if you have a weak signal and you've set it at 1080, then it would buffer quite a bit. The uh, second to last option there is allowing you to change the color grading yourself manually. So if you wanted to have it in color or black and white, you can do that. Um, depending on how bright or dark the environment is, you can change it yourself. Or if you have an auto, it will automatically adjust depending on uh, night vision or not. And then the last one is to uh, give it a full screen view as well. So on the bottom, you have two buttons. You have talk and playback. If you wanted to talk, then you can also press that, as I can see here, start tapping to talk. It's now enabled, and now if I hit this, you can see there's a slight delay, but the voice is coming from my camera. So hopefully you heard that. So I will stop that, and if we go to playback, it will ask you to put an SD card in there. I haven't put one in just yet, but you can go back and playback however much is recorded on that SD card. Now if you have multiple Rio Link devices set up, you can uh, switch between them by selecting the top right channel menu there and uh, switching between anywhere you've uh, installed these. So I've only set it up in my garden, so I only have the one so far. Um, and there's also a alarm icon or a bell icon on the top right as well, if you hit that. It will trigger a sound alarm if I just press this. You can play that in case there's any type of uh, situation where you want to get rid of burglars or anything like that, then that's possible to do as well. So that's an overview of the app. Now I'm going to give you some sample clips of directly from this camera in daytime and nighttime as well. Alright, so this is a test in daytime just to show you the video quality. I've set this to 1080p and uh, just to give you an idea of how my audio comes up. So I'm going to step back a little bit just to see if you guys can hear me clearly from a distance as well. Okay, so I'm about seven meters away from the camera. Can you guys still hear me quite clearly? Okay, I've just changed the uh, video quality to fluid. So I just wanted to show you guys the difference between the 1080p and have it the fluid display. So, so if it wasn't having a strong signal to your Wi-Fi connection, then uh, this is how it would be. So I'm currently running off a live stream. I don't have the SD card in my camera, so this is how it would look. So I'm going to switch over now to uh, nighttime clips, give you a sample of how that looks, and hopefully night vision kicks in. So let me know what you guys think of that as well. So what's up guys, this is the uh, nighttime version. So as you can see, night vision is on, and uh, I'm going to give you a sample clip. Hopefully you can hear my audio coming up quite well. It's a little bit noisy because there's a lot of fireworks happening right now. So can you see me clearly? Can you make up my face? Just to have a sample idea of what it looks like in very dark, almost pitch black conditions here. I've now switched on the 1080p, so is the quality a lot better? Can you tell the difference? So I'm gonna move around a little bit just to show you guys how it looks with the uh, buffering and the quality of the video in terms of like actual movements in the garden. Alright, so thanks for watching guys. So I hope you like that setup and uh, demo of the uh, Rio Link Argus 2. So as you can see, the combo is there in place now. I'm going to be using this full time and obviously giving you a review after a week or two how it's going on my Instagram. Now the combo with the solar panel actually comes in just less than £130, but I'll leave in the, the description below all of the links on where you can purchase this, including Amazon. Now from my personal review, I think with the video playback, because it's a little bit far away from my Wi-Fi router, it can buffer a little bit and sometimes it is a little bit jaggedy. So the video is not the ultimate best I've seen, but it does a very good job nonetheless. The audio as well, it is quite clear. I can have conversation two ways and I can hear everything the other person is saying. It's not the clearest high definition audio I've seen in some of these devices in the past, but nonetheless, it does a good enough job for the price that you're paying. Now in other features, I think it's very quick and easy to set up. 
the fact that it's wireless and it just clips on anywhere you like and the fact that you can have it powered by a solar panel rather than with a, a socket anywhere it's just so convenient i got it up and running in about 15 20 minutes so quick and easy nothing to fiddle around with so that's a great plus point from that now it also has motion sensing features and capabilities so you can get notifications on your app when you have anyone walking past if you're out you can um, speak to the postman get your deliveries um, dropped anywhere specific so tons of features and also you can actually have this in color vision as well when it's at night time so rather than having black and white you can change the settings for that as well so a host of various different options i'll leave a link on the description below where you can read up about all of the features that this comes with so have a look if you have any questions do let me know otherwise i hope you found that useful and thanks for watching guys and i will catch you at the next one take care Thank you.